Right, this related rates problem asks, a trough is in the shape of a rectangular prism. It's 20 feet long, two feet wide, and three feet deep, okay. Water flows into the trough at three feet cubed per minute. How fast is the depth of the water changing when it is one foot deep? Okay, let's take a look here. What do we know? Okay, well, let's draw this out here. We know we've got this rectangular prism here. Okay, we know that this thing is going to be 20 feet long. Okay, it is 2 feet wide and 3 feet deep. Okay, and we know that water is flowing into the trough at 3 feet cubed per minute. Now that's, that's a volume change here. So dV by dt is 3 and it's positive. Okay, feet, whoops, whoa. Probably feet cubed. Per minute. It's positive because it's, it's increasing, okay? Now, we want to know how fast the depth of the water is changing at the instant here that the depth here, that, that let's say D, is going to be one foot. So what we want, okay, what we want here is D, oh boy, I, I, I regret my choice here. In fact, I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to change my variable. I don't want this to be DD by DT. So let's make this the height here. So what we want here is dH by dt. The, this is the rate at which the height of the water changes with respect to time. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. <coughs> That's what we want here. Now, one other thing that we know here is we do know that the volume for a rectangular prism is going to be length times width times height. Now, but here's the thing. As you're pouring water into this, okay, let's think about this is not so much being the volume of the prism, uh, the, the whole trough here, as the volume of just the water in the prism as we're entering, uh, putting stuff in here. When we pour water into this, okay, the water is going to match the shape of the container. I mean, that's the property of a liquid here. So as you pour that in here, it is going to be the, the rectangular prism that's created by just the water is going to have a length of 20 and a width of two, and in fact, the only variable here is going to be the height, okay? As you pour water in, the height's gonna go up, but the width isn't gonna change, the length isn't gonna change, so what's gonna happen here is the volume of the water, if you wanna think of it like this, is gonna be 20 times two times height, or 40 times the height. That's what we're gonna work with here. And so now we can come over here and we know that the volume of the water is going to equal 40 times the height. Now, see, this is a, a really great problem here uh, because when you first jump into it, it looks like it's going to be more complicated because it looks like there's more variables here, but they aren't variables. This is a great question for highlighting when you take the derivative, or sorry, when you substitute the values of, of variables in, okay? This looked like there were four variables here, volume, length, width, and height. It turned out though length and width are both constant and because they're constant, we can plug those in before we take the derivative. And so now we've just got these two variables here. We take the derivative implicitly with respect to time. And this just, that's just beautiful. Okay, what a wonderful derivative. They don't have to work out that nicely here. We already know that dv by dt is gonna be three. And so now I'll bring the dh by dt over to the left-hand side because I know most of us like to have it on that side. And so this will be 3 over 40, okay? And at this point here, that will be feet per minute. And now because I know it helps to have a, a decimal version of this so that you can have maybe a, a clearer vision of this, what this is is it's going to be 0 0.075 feet per minute. That's how fast the height of the water is changing in this rectangular prism of a trough.